Welcome. We are in Japan. We just docked about 40 minutes ago. We're gonna go eat some breakfast and then head in to town. I think everything that we want to see is pretty much we're gonna take us um, into town via a shuttle. So I think everything we want to see is pretty much right there in town. We're trying to see Mount Fuji. Supposed to be good views, but it's still a little foggy. It's kind of, I believe it's right behind me. Can't really see much because there's mostly fog there. You can see an outline of that tall, but we're surrounded by tons of mountains. Mountains are everywhere. But um, there's only one big one. And can't see the top yet, but maybe in the afternoon made it clear up better and I can go see that. But it is a little windy, a beautiful day otherwise. Early in the morning still, so I'm sure it'll be warm. So far this trip has been great. We haven't had much bad weather at all, except we're on a sea day, which who cares if it's a sea day. You see one of the boat docks down there. And in the background, you can see the Ferris wheel. I'm trying to see how many Ferris wheels I can see on this trip. And Chinatown gates. <laughs> but hopefully on this adventure I'll ride at least one of the Ferris wheels while we're here in um, Asia. But so far it looks really cool. I can't wait to get down there. I will see you on a few. I am out of here. We're here in Shimizu, Japan, wandering around, finished with the uh, cruise ship, uh, customs and all that stuff. And it is only 8.50 in the morning and it seems to be that everything seems to be closed so we're only here till then we're to be we leave at 3 we're going to be on board at 2.30 but everything so far this early is all closed we have a museum behind us the brown building right about there we want to see that but it'd be closed I think 10 o'clock we're still gonna wander the city and see what we can see, but otherwise we're just gonna be taking in the sights, the views, and see the pretty mountains and the pretty buildings, but until 10 or so, we're not gonna be able to get into anything, it looks like. So I'll catch you later. And you can see behind me, that's one of those parking garages that go way up there. See? Bring your car in, go through one of the two doors, pay your fee, which I have no clue how much it is to park there, and then the elevator takes your car up and parks it. Pretty cool. I would love to go try it out, see what it looks like from the inside, but I have no car. So, just walking around the streets, sort of lost, sort of not lost, and we ran into this back alleyway. See, it's just a a back alleyway that runs right into this temple. It's the doors are all closed except that one entrance gate. So I didn't want to talk inside the temple area. It seemed very quiet. There wasn't many people around. Actually, there was no one around except one person. And so did my pictures, did my little look around. My first temple so far on this trip that I could think of that looked authentic and in the middle of nowhere. Funny thing happened yesterday, we were walking through Chinatown in Yokohama and this guy pops up to us and apparently we had left some money on the counter when we were trying to pay for our coke and water and the guy had found us to say hey you left your money which that almost never happens it almost never happens that somebody will come hunt you down on the street to say hey you left some money here it is only in japan can you see such kindness oh gateway and this middle of this alley area so right where the ferris wheel is near the dock, got this nice little shopping center, buy some souvenirs, try some food, oh, found a cool little, <laughs> a sushi, found a sushi artwork, look at this, there we go, President Obama, 
You got all the different rulers. Pretty interesting. Cool that over here in Japan they're celebrating Halloween also, just like us. Going all out. Ghosts, candy, everything. We hit the mother load of arcade games, cranes, dollar quarter machines, whatnot. Maybe stuffed animal, Japanese, imaginable is here. I'm trying to look for something with Dragon Ball Z for one of my friends back home. Still in the search for that. Otherwise, he might be just getting a stuffed animal of, I don't know, this cat. <laughs> Kirby. <laughs> I think I found one. Dragon Ball Z. It says 200 yen. You put your money in. And it, that's like a little necklace. Oh, there's one that's 300 yen. Let's see. I'm gonna get it. Let me get my money out. I'll be right back. Alright. You know who you are. I'm getting you a Dragon Ball Z. In Japan, Shimizu. So you see that's authentic. So it looks just like this. Dragon Ball 08 it says. But it comes in a little package. I'm gonna leave it wrapped so he can be the first one to open it when I ship it to him. But I thought, you know, my best friend, you know you're gonna appreciate this. We're gonna head downstairs of this building and wander around some more, do some more shopping, maybe try some local food, and then head back to the ship because they're gonna do a geisha show on the ship before we leave by some local geishas. So, super excited. So we're into this little sushi restaurant. Really cool, it's, everything's on a conveyor belt. You have your little touch screen. You go ahead and pick what you want, order it, and then the chef will make it and it goes down a conveyor belt right to your station. It's all like a little iPad is where you touch screen everything. Really cool. Right next to the boat, the boat's just right around the corner. And we see my first Japan beach. Right there. No one's here. No one's laying out. But it still counts. There's an entrance, there's water. Technically, I'm gonna call it a beach. And there's some sand there, so, yeah. I'm still trying to see Mount Fuji in the background. I got some pictures earlier this morning where I could see the silhouette, the bottom part of the mountain, but then the top part had some fog over it. And then, before we even got off the ship, the fog pretty much covered most of the mountain, so it's hard to see anything. But most people say it's really, you have to be beyond lucky to actually see Mount Fuji, because it always has that fog, it's never, you know, rare to have a perfect picture. But, I'm gonna take this little, get up on top of this bridge, get a higher perspective at the moment before we get back on the ship and see one last time if it's possible to see
So I made it back to the ship. And just in time to go see the Geisha Geisha show. Never pronounce it right. Oh, there's a whole bunch of little tents set up and some food trucks. So good chances are quick stop before I enter the boat. stopping at all these little tents that are set up at each port. Japanese people are so welcoming, so friendly, and I feel pretty safe here. So far Japan's been my favorite port so far outside the US. Um, and we'll see how China compares. See in a few. So apparently I can't get on the ship without stopping at these little tents and buying something. So I ended up buying, today is a gala night, kimono night, so I bought me a kimono. I'll post a picture right about now. And I ended up stopping at that guy that was making those, the egg with the noodles and all the other toppings on it. I went and bought that. Looks delicious. I haven't tried it yet. Already got it. <laughs> Hoping it's still warm, but me buying stuff and leaving this outdoors, we'll see how it goes. And hopefully the next stop will be on the ship. Because in about 20 minutes starts the Geisha, Geisha, I need to learn how to say that. The show that they're providing by the locals here. So I'll catch you on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> 